Hi, I'm Damaso Rodriguez. I'm directing Romeo and Juliet in 2018. I'm really excited about the opportunity to direct Romeo and Juliet, specifically because it's Romeo and Juliet, and I know that it is going to be a first Shakespeare experience for a lot of this audience, just like it was for me. I think this was the first, you know, I know this was the first Shakespeare play that I encountered uh, in, in school, and um, I think of that as a great responsibility and a, an honor, and I, I just, I'm, I'm excited to be able to tell this particular story. I'm also excited about it because I just directed the play in 2016, and when uh, I was approached by Bill Rausch about doing it, he, he just wanted to be sure that I was comfortable and, and, and still interested in doing the play, even though I had recently directed it. And I said that, well, of course, my interest is increased versus decreased. Like these great plays, you can spend a lifetime revisiting them, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to get back to it. Uh, having had the experience of several weeks of rehearsal and, and observing how it played. I also, because it's playing uh, in the Elizabethan stage and because uh, uh, I know that OSF was specifically looking for a period uh, version of the play at this time, uh, it's great for me because my, my previous interpretation was very contemporary. Uh, it was uh, very modern. It was set in a, an, in a graffiti alley in an economically oppressed, uh, uh, unspecified uh, city. And uh, now I get the opportunity to dig into the historical context uh, of the 16th century, um, maybe some of the uh, religious context, um, uh, what were the uh, sort of divides in that time. And I think in digging into the specificity of that, of course, we will uh, reflect on our own moment and project our own moment onto this uh, moment in our, our uh, it's many centuries ago. So in that sense, no matter what period we set it in, and we are, we are looking at the Italian Renaissance as, as, our, as our first point of reference, it, has to, it will have a modern uh, point of view. I think that's in the casting. I just want to create as diverse a company as possible, as fascinating a company as possible, and we have this extraordinary company of actors here to fill these roles and take us on this journey to tell this story. I want the design team at this point, the, the first instruction is to use the, the period as a, as a starting point, as a point of reference, but make bold choices in your design that come from your modern sensibility. Uh, and so that's our way into it. And I think that'll affect uh, perhaps costuming and color choices um, where they will evoke uh, 16th century and will feel like it's the past, but there'll be something about the silhouette and the design that that makes it feel fresh and and, and compelling uh, to us in this moment. And I can see applying that that kind of guideline to the music, um, uh, which maybe won't be specifically following uh, the style of music that was used or the conventions of music that were used in uh, 16th century uh, interpretation of the play, but. Um, again, we'll evoke it, won't feel wrong, but will somehow feel fresh and modern. I'm excited uh, to do the play outdoors at the, uh, in the Allen Elizabethan stage. I've been in the theater uh, in that space several times now since moving to Oregon uh, four years ago. Uh, uh, I love coming to the festival. I love the experience of being outside. When I'm out there, I don't necessarily think of the challenges of the space. I just get drawn into it. Now, as I go about working on, on the play, I, I think about the responsibility of filling that large space. Um, scaling the performance up, making it connect to 1,200 people uh, requires some of those, um, requires a large company, requires uh, bold uh, uh, choices um, from experienced designers to, again, scale the performance up to that space. I love the idea of performing outside and how um, I've been I've been thinking a lot about when the sun sets this time of year as we'll be opening uh, about a year from now. and. I like that the, that mirrors the course of the action in the play, which starts light and optimistic uh, and funny and then grows ever darker. Um, uh, and, and so I, I can only imagine, as Shakespeare knew himself, that uh, being outside must support and maybe even uh, add to the experience of the story.